So now we're gonna start closing up the bottom of what we have here. And we're going to do eight decreases in a row. So I'm gonna turn this around so that it's facing me. Close up my hole there. And what's going to happen here is you run the risk of this fiber fill getting caught in your hook and in your stitches, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but it's actually very annoying to pick all those little pieces of fiber fill out after the fact. So what we wanna do is just push this down. It's okay if it gets a little misshapen because we can always roll it and fix it after that, but try to push the fiber fill away from your stitches. And sometimes as I go around, I actually will pull the wall of this away from the fiber fill so that it's not touched by it. So I'm gonna take my stitch marker out and I'm going to do my first decrease of eight. So I'm going to put the hook again into the first loop of the first stitch for my invisible decrease, first loop of the second stitch, yarn over, and then pull it through all the loops. Put the stitch marker at the top of that stitch. And that's one. Again, I'm pushing my fiber fill away from my fingers and my hook. So now we're gonna do the second decrease. Put the hook into the loop, the front loop, hook into the second front loop. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through both. That's the second decrease. Put the hook into the front loop, second front loop. Yarn over, pull it through that, yarn over, single crochet. That's the fourth one. Hook into the front loop, hook into the front loop, yarn over, and complete your decrease. That's the fifth one. And you can hear how tight this is because my hook is actually squeaking. Okay, now. This is seven. And eight. And so on, all the way around. 